Shuttle transfer service for flight 198 to Deep Space Orion, bound for Vega, now boarding at gate 13. Tell me, how long will it be before we reach full power? In less than an hour. Have you reviewed the flight plan? Yes. First we go to Vega, then on to the planet Jiggy, then we go to its moon. Dola, have you ever been there? No, never. What about you? Henry, that's where I was born. My father was vegan. But my mother was born on a long voyage, to the edge of the galaxy. So, you're going home for a visit? Yes, it's been a long time. I have some old friends there, I haven't seen them for years. I understand. I've heard they've had a few reports, of the voices, turning up there. No one knows where they come from, and so far, no one has tried to figure out what they want. I know about them, my sister said. She heard them, one night, when she went out for a walk. Now she won't go out again, after dark, and won't discuss what they said. Have you been able to visit with Uncle Robert? He said there was something he wanted to discuss with you, but he wouldn't tell me what it was. I plan to go and visit him later today. He's worried about the voices. He says they are from another dimension. Another dimension? You heard them, didn't you? What did they say? They said they had been fighting a war but that they were losing. They said they needed to escape, and that they were planning to come and live, here, on Doa. Have you talked to Uncle Robert, about this? Has he ever, heard them? I only told him that they had frightened me. He said, he wants to speak, to you.
Well, hello, Uncle Robert. How have you been? I am very well. Have you been to see your sister since you got back? Yes, I had a good visit with her this afternoon. We went for a nice walk together and sat for a while under some trees. I asked her about the voices she heard. She told me something about a war in another dimension and that people from there wanted to come here to escape the fighting. That is correct, but there is more, much more. There is another entire universe that exists and it occupies the very same space we occupy only it is all dark matter and energy. There has been a huge battle raging there for years. The people are more scientifically advanced than we are and they know how to cross over into our dimension. It would be one thing if they simply came here as refugees. We would not turn them away. But instead, what they must do is to take over the body of the person they choose to use from our dimension. And in order to do this, they must overwrite everything which constitutes the mind, thoughts, memories, etc. of the person they've chosen to occupy, effectively killing them. Is there any way to stop them from doing this? Well, Valerie, it appears people are more vulnerable when outside, alone, at night. Uncle Robert, this really has me feeling afraid. Not to worry Valerie, I quite understand. You are certainly welcome to spend the night here if you wish and go back in the morning. That is very kind of you, are you sure it won't be any trouble? No trouble at all Val. Come, I'll show you to the spare bedroom. Target subject is sleeping peacefully and will offer no resistance. Proceed with transference. Transference completed. Good morning, darling. Magda, is it really you? Yes, darling, it is really me. Magda, that is wonderful. I am so happy they found a host for you. Yes, Martin, and do you like it? Well, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to each other again. But my dear, I think I can manage. Honey, I think you will manage. Just fine.